Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mr. Vikadam and today we are going to see how we can integrate Python in UiPath. Now, in order to integrate Python with UiPath, we first of all need to have some code written in Python. So I'm not just going to take, um, you know, efforts here and I'm just going to grab my already captured Python code. So I've already defined Python model. I just copy this guy and let's come back to UiPath. Now I have not created any workflow. So you know how you can create a workflow, you just have to open the UiPath application, click, click on new process. Once you create a new process, all you have to do is refresh. Now let's navigate to the folder location, paste your Python project here. So now I have a Python project, which is a machine learning prediction model, which predicts the class or the classified category. So it's a text classifier model. All I have to do is I have to execute the predicted method, which is nothing but, so I'm going to open it in a Python 3.6. I do what I have to do is I have to execute the predict class, which is a predict method. Now, in order to execute the predict method, what I have to do is just simply navigate to UiPath, go to the activities, manage packages, and I have to download a package which is Python UiPath.python.activities package. Now, I have already downloaded it, so you can download it. And once you download this package, you will have Python activities enabled. So you just have to type right here Python and you can see all the activities related to Python. Now, in order to invoke Python in your workflow, what you have to do is simply you have to drag first of all Python application scope. So Python scope. Now, once you click on the Python scope, you have to verify and you have to enter the path of the Python. So I'm going to enter. So I just have to type here right Python and I have Python 3.6. Click on open file location, navigate to the file location, right click and say open file location. So this is where my Python is installed. All I have to do is just copy this entire path of the folder, come back, enter the path in the double quotation right here, or you can create a variable for this one. So let's create a variable called as Python path. Now once you create this variable Python path, all you have to do is just write, grab here, in the default values, you just have to print the path of the Python location. That's all about it. Now I am going to execute a prediction of already predefined machine learning model, right? So I need an input from users. So in order to take input, I'm going to take an input dialog, which is going to be this, this guy. And I'm going to name it as a uh, string. So, so this is going to be like input. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say this is a prediction or you can say mm, input. Right here, I'm going to say, enter a string to predict the category of the string. So the machine learning model, which I'm using is naive based text classifier algorithm. And the, my, the model which I have created is a .sav model using pickle methods. And I'm going to use this uh, Python script to predict and I'm going to integrate it with UiPath. Now I have taken the input data. So output of this is going to be I have to create a variable. So this is going to be the data which user is going to enter, right? So I'm going to call it as a uh, input string. Okay. Oh, did I call it a string? Let's check it. No problem. You can change it here anytime. This changes overall in your entire application, in your entire workflow. So I enter here input string. Now all I have to do is save this Python scope. Now, once you type Python, you can see all the activities, which is get Python object, invoke Python method, load Python script, Python scope, and run Python script. Now, if you want to do inline coding, you can simply drag run Python script. You can write your Python script right here and you can just execute it. So there's inline coding option available in UiPath. Now I already have written a Python script separately, so I don't have to drag uh, a separate in inline Python coding. All I have to do is simply go ahead and say load my Python script. So I'm going to load a Python script. I'm going to create a variable right here, which is going to be Python script. So my Python script is add. So there's already Python path, which is going to be the Python location. Python script is going to be the location of the Python script. So which is nothing but this one. So this is my Python script right here. I'll just copy it, come back right here. Now I'm hard coding the details. You can just put it in the configuration if you want to, and you can use it. So you can simply use the configuration. I have already displayed how you can use the configuration. So 
you can put the details in the configuration. Now I have kept the details right here hard coded. So don't do that. It's not a best practice. I'm just telling you. I'm just doing it for the demonstration purpose. So the best practice is always to keep these details in the configuration file. Now I have a Python path, Python script, and once I have both the things, I have to create a result right here, which is going to be my py um, output, or you can say this is a py script. Okay, so this is a Python script. Once I have loaded it, now if you check out my program, I have a prediction method. So in order to execute this prediction method, all I have to do is I have to execute Python. So invoke Python method, which is going to call your one of the method from your Python code. Now to call this method, I have to write the name of the method. So name of the method is nothing but predict, right? Now all I have to do is go here and just type in the double quotation, or I can create a variable for this one. So sorry. So this is going to be the name of the method, which is going to be a uh, method name. Then I have I don't know why my spellings are getting so wrong today. Okay, so method name, which is a string. Then I have instance. So instance we have already created in the previous activity. The output of previous activity is nothing but py script, and the input parameters. So input parameters right here you can check the the class or the method accepts two input parameters. So I have to create a array, comma separated. Right, so the first value is going to be the input string, and the second value is going to be the folder location of the predictable model, which is dot SAV pickle model. So I'm going to create a variable right here, which is going to be a prediction model, right? And I'm going to save it. Now this prediction model, again I'm going to pass the value to this prediction model, which is right this one. Okay, so it is created I enumerable, but I don't want to create I enumerable. So I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and make the changes. I'm just going to call it a string because it's address of file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this prediction model, which is nothing but dot sav model. Copy this model right here. Come back and pass it in the variable as a hard coded value. But I'm just doing it demonstrating. Remember, you have to put it in configuration. Perfect. So I have what I have. I have Python path. I have input data. I have Python scope in which I have do in which I have all these activities. I can change the scope anytime. The problem. I can make it sequence. Let's change the scope to make it complete sequence. That would be better. Okay. Now once you have given all the fields of the method, all you have to give is the output. So this is going to be py output. Okay. Now this is the method output, right? Now what method is going to return me is going to be the py output, but I have to still give it a Python object. So I have to call it as get Python object. Now the output of output is py output. So I'm going to collect the output in string, which is going to be my prediction from the machine learning algorithm, which is going to be, you see result, result is nothing but a string, right? So I'm going to call the type argument as string and I'm going to finally, the result is going to be the prediction, okay? So the final result is going to be the prediction. Now once Python script executes and everything is done, now I'm just going to uh, change the scope of these guys. I'm going to keep it sequence, come back, save it. The Python scope is done, the input is done. Now all I have to do is write a message box. So I can just put message box right here. I can say, so prediction uh, output. And I'm just going to put right here, prediction is this one. Or we can just uh, add a message right here plus which is going to be predicted category for string is one space and that's it that should do now this is what my simple workflow looks like where i where i integrated python that to machine learning model with ui path all i have to do is now simply go ahead and execute it so what i'm going to do is just say run now, once I say run, it's going to ask me the input. So input, I'm just going to enter, I need a new mouse. Now this, I need a new mouse is a, a category which, is, which comes to hardware, right? A mouse is a hardware component. What it says, it says load Python script, error loading Python script type invalid operation exception. Now, all you have to do is simply check this. Now, only one thing is remaining, which is going to be the name of the method. So the name of the method we have called here method name. 
which is going to be prediction. So, or, or it's just predict, I think. So we're just going to save it and let's take the method name. The method name is predict, which is accurate. Now let's close this guy because this is not needed. Save it, minimize it, come back and let's execute it. So let's say run. Now this time it's going to execute like a smooth butter. So I need a new mouse, enter. And it executes the Python code and it gives you the predicted category for string is hardware, which is perfect. Right, let me close the streams guy, experience some issue, okay. Now let's test it one more time. So run, execute, uh, enter the category, which is going to be, uh, I need a new software of, uh, let's say antivirus. So if you enter I need a new software of antivirus, it gives, it, it waits for uh, the testing, it predicts and it gives the predicted category as a software. So we are using this machine learning model, which you can go ahead and you can use it uh, anywhere in, if you found email classification or incident management classification like this. So this is a simple method, which I'm, I have used. Let me recap. So I'm taking input data, which is in a string Then I'm using Python scope where I'm Entering the details of the Python path application, which is going to be the Python path where the Python is stored or installed. Now, then you have to give the target, which is uh, which could be 86 or 64 based on your integration. Then check the Python uh, version minus Python 3.6, so Python 36, and Python 3.7 is not supported yet, so load Python script. You have to enter the file path of the Python and then generate a Python script output. Give that as an instance input to the invoke Python method give your input parameters, give the name of the prediction or give the name of the method, get the output, convert the output into object of string, execute it and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching my video and please like, share and subscribe and let me know what you would like to learn next. Thank you so much. Happy automation.